started snowboarding through skating when I was 15 years. All my friends skated and I just needed something to stay sideways on a board during the winter time, you know, there was no indoor skate parks and nothing, so yeah, that's how I got my first board and it was just like skating on snow. I started two years ago building the POW surfers, how we call them, it's a board without bindings and yeah, to just experiment with shapes and to have that freedom of just uh, feel like that shape today, you know, a little bit more swallowtail. What turned me on to, to building my own boards was to learn about the history of snowboarding and also realize the roots of snowboarding lies in surfing and the whole influence and what the surfing had to the guys who built the first snowboards. If you look at old snowboards now, you totally see that the boards were made for powder, you know, the, the width, the length and stuff, you know, that the guys just wanted to have a surf feeling. I think that's so cool in surfing that people think of a quiver of boards, not of like the one perfect board, you know, and I think snowboarding is freeing the mind too. Really hyped to try the new boards, you know, there's a two, three different shapes I never tried before, so I'm really nervous about that, how they're gonna work and if the powder is gonna be right for it.